Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. We are told that the steep part of the titration curve ranges from a pH of 1.8 to 12.7. That means that as the pH is increasing, once it reaches 1.8, it's almost going to go straight up. And then once it reaches 12.7, it's going to level off again and go almost flat till the end there. And the equivalence point is going to occur during the steep part of the titration, right? And the way we can figure out the equivalence point is by using an indicator. The indicator should change colors as soon as we've added enough base to reach the equivalence point. So the indicator should change colors as soon as we reach this point here. Okay. So in order for that to happen, we need an indicator that's going to change colors between pHs between 1.8 and 12.7. right? So which pH indicators are going to do that for us? Well, let's think about each one individually. We're told that methyl red will change colors between a pH of 4.4 and 6.2. Okay, so anywhere during this area for methyl red, the solution is going to change colors, which is perfect because if the solution changed colors when we reach a pH of 4, the color change will happen right at a volume of about 28 milliliters of base, which will tell us exactly how much base we added to reach the, the equivalence point, right? So methyl red would be a great option here. Now let's think about bromethyl blue. Bromethyl blue changes between a pH of 6 and 7.6. Once again, if the pH changes at this point, it's going to change colors once we've added about 28 milliliters of base, which would be perfect. And finally, let's consider phenolphthalein. We're told that phenolphthalein changes colors between a pH of 8.2 and 10. And we'll notice once again that this indicator is going to change colors as soon as we've added about 28 milliliters of base, once again telling us about how much base we had to add to reach the equivalence point. Therefore, any one of these three indicators would be perfect for determining the equivalence point for this titration. If we take a second look at our answer choices, it looks like D, 1, 2, and 3 is the correct answer here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.